Yes, Nisar. Farhan, the assassination yesterday or the attack by Israel against some members of Hezbollah and other Iranians inside Syria was unnoticed. I mean, uh, United Nations kept quiet about that. How do you view that? Does it really help the stability of the region or how do you view it? We wouldn't have a comment on um, this uh, reported incident. We've seen the reports, but the details concerning that are murky and we would need to get more of the facts. Uh, but certainly anything that hurts the stability of the region is a cause for concern and we would implore all sides to do what they can to exercise restraint and to make sure that uh, the problems that are already uh, uh, present in the region, the tensions that are already there, are not exacerbated. But uh, the helicopter, of course, which as reported, shot against them. I'm sure it uh, was noticed by the UNDOF. Did they report anything to you? What I can say on that is that on the 18th of January, that is to say yesterday, the UN Disengagement Observer Force observed two unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, flying from the Alpha side and crossing the ceasefire line. The mission saw the UAVs moving towards the general direction of UN Position 30, following which they lost sight of the UAVs. An hour later, smoke was observed coming from the general direction of position 30. However, the origin of the smoke could not be identified by the mission. Subsequently, Andoff observed UAVs flying from the general area of position 30 and over Jabata crossing the ceasefire line. Uh, this incident is a violation of the 1974 agreement on, on disengagement between Israeli and Syrian forces. Yes. Sure. Uh, thanks a lot. You, you'd met, I, some other questions, but. You